let's go ahead and do a quick market recap. All right, let's see. We're taking a look here at uh, Wednesday morning trading. Let's look at each of these markets individually. Uh, this is the EMD, which is the uh, mid-cap 400. This was our pre-market analysis. Uh, we had made note of the fact that the market from yesterday in going into the close, this is the uh, Pacific time, midnight going into this morning, the 15th, would have been right about here. So overnight, there was a huge run up on the equities coming up to their swing highs. Uh, Pre-market, uh, 6.30 Pacific was the open of the equity session, which is over here, somewhere right about in here. And we had made note of the fact that the market was consolidating uh, in this area right here. Notice that you were putting in a series of higher, lower lows and lower highs, and there was a sell, a short that we took in the market when it came through that pivot. Popped down, gave us about 30, 35 ticks, $10 a tick on EMD, about $300 plus or minus on the short trade here. This was a deep retracement. We had some news, housing index news at 7 o'clock, which was right about here. Subsequent to that, uh, it rolled over. We took a short. Short stopped out. And then there was a long trade that set up on the break up here. This was the analysis that we had done. This was lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. We break up, and we get a trend reversal. Did had a chance to pop a little long trade right here up to this pivot. Gave you about 12 to 15 ticks. And then um, now we're rolling over, and you can make the case that we're breaking this uptrend line right here. Now, over here, you've got uh, similar price action on the Russell TF. It's also $10 a tick. Very similar price action on the Russell. Of course, here's the run up overnight. Uh, all the way up into its swing highs over here. This is the pre-market consolidation. Here's the breakdown short. This broke pretty quick, so you pretty much had to ha have kind of a sell order sitting right in there. See it right in here? That break of that support level right there came right through the pivot, down, down, down. A little deeper breakdown of the Russell. I think that's about 50 ticks on the sell-off there. Deep retracement after the news, and then, of course, here's the subsequent sell-off short. Uh, which is funny because the, the housing index news was bullish. So we kind of expected, we were thinking of follow through the upside, which of course didn't happen and she broke down. Came all the way down here, this uh, stop reverse pivot at one eighth, right down here. See it? And now uh, I think a lot of traders are asking, uh, you know, is this a retracement to the upside? You know, are we probing it to a higher level and possibly break up? Or, in fact, has the uptrend reversed and selling off? That remains to be seen. So we shall watch and see. Anyway, we got a couple of decent trades here. We didn't get a big running day, but at least we got a couple little pops for about 25, 30, 40 ticks each way. This one was only about maybe 15, 12 to 15 ticks. Still some decent trades here trading a reversal right after the news. All right, I think that's the, it for the recap. Any questions before we close the session? Questions before we close the session. All right, we have a webinar tonight. Everybody enjoy your Wednesday, and we'll see most of you tonight. If not, have a great Wednesday, and we'll see the rest of you tomorrow morning in the trading room. Okay, MC, Jay, Wilhelm, thanks for coming, everybody. Mark, see you guys later. Bye now.